So this is going to be my official Alejandro Santiago versus Nonito Donaire prediction. Um, Nonito Donaire, we already know he's an all-time great. Um, he stands at five foot seven. He's a sixty-eight and a half inch reach. His record reached forty-two victories, seven defeats, twenty-eight wins, coming by way of knockout, and he's forty years old. Uh, Alejandro Santiago stands at five foot two. He has a 65 and a half inch reach. His record reads 27 wins, three defeats, and five draws. Um, and 14 wins coming by way of knockout, and he's 27 years old. <coughs> so, now this is going to be for a vacant title, a vacant Bantamweight title, because I know he moved up and all the titles went vacant, and, he, you know, and now he's fighting Fulton here shortly, blah, 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 blah. So, Good fight. Um, very impressed with, you know, I'm very glad to see that Nonito Donaire is still going to fight again and it's going to be for another title. He's He deserves it. Um, it's an interesting fight, man. Because Santiago, he's not... I mean, he's a good fighter. I don't think he's a world beater by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a nice test for Nonito Donaire. And if no, and Nonito don't know knows that if he happens to see this video, he knows I mean him the greatest respect in the world. But it's a he knows I mean him the greatest respect in the world. But it's a good it's a good measuring stick for a vacant title to see where Nonito's at, given the fact that he's forty years old. You know he's he's been out of the ring for a year, and he had a, that bad loss uh, in the Inoue rematch, etc., so forth. So it's a very good measuring stick to see where Nonito is, and uh, a tough little tough little guy like Santiago, I think, is a good measuring stick for him, especially you know, like I say, coming off a a pretty tough defeat against Naoya Inoue, but which and obviously there's no. Shame in losing to Inoue. I mean, some, a lot of people got him pound for pound number one right now. I got him numbered two after Uzik, but, you know, it's nevertheless, right? Um, but Santiago's a good fighter. He hasn't fought uh, the greatest competition in the world, but he did give Yerwan Ancajas, another Filipino guy that was a long-reigning title holder, a draw. I honestly don't remember how I scored that fight. I do remember watching it, but I don't remember how I scored it. But Santiago's a good fighter. Like I say, he's obviously, he's a lot younger than Nonito. Uh, he's 27. So, but he's not a, I wouldn't consider him a big puncher, but he's got enough pop to keep you honest. He's not as big of a puncher as Nonito. So there's a couple of variables here that I think, you know, we need to keep in mind. He is 13 years younger than Nonito, right? But Nonito's three inches taller than him. Um, he's got three inches of reach on, uh, on Nonito. And Nonito, in my opinion, has always done very well with the guys that he's got a little bit of a hi uh, height and reach on, okay? Like Stefan Young like uh, Nordinu Bali and, uh, uh, you know, and some of these other guys. So, and Santiago's also never been stopped before either. So if, don't, if Nonito was to go in there and stop Santiago at 40 years old and win another vacant title and break his own record of being the oldest Bantamweight champion in boxing history, that is another feather in the cap for an already very, very, very legendary career for Nonito, and I think he can do it. I, I you know, Santiago's like again. I uh, Santiago's a tough fighter, but I don't think it's anything Nonito hasn't seen before. And like I say, Nonito does well with the the guys that are a little bit shorter than he is. A little bit, you know, um, he's got a little bit of a reach advantage over or whatever. And again, I don't think Santiago's the type of guy. I, I just don't see him beating Nonito, to be honest with you. I understand that Nonito's older, and uh, you know Santiago's younger, and you know maybe he does. He's not been in as many wars as, as uh, Nonito, et cetera, so forth. But I, I don't. If unless Father Time catches up with Nonito, 
I don't see him losing this fight, guys. I don't. Unless that second Anoe fight took something out of him, plus the age, I don't see Nonito Donaire losing this fight. I think that Nonito Donaire is going to go in there and break his own record and, and, and double up on being the oldest champ, Bantamweight champion in boxing history. And Nonito, me give, you know, Nonito, if you watch this video, you know I gotta I give you the greatest respect in the world, but you know, I just gotta make my analysis analysis here. So I think he's gonna do it. I, I think Santiago is is a tough kid, and like I said, it's a good measuring stick to see what Nonito's got left coming off that rough uh, second defeat to Inoue and, and 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 given his age, right? So uh, good measuring stick. I think it's going to be a very fan friendly fight. Santiago comes to fight. He he. Uh, Santiago comes to fight, and he's never been stopped before. So I think it's going to be a, f a fun fight. I do, and I think that. Uh, and I think that it's going to go some rounds. I think it'll go some rounds. But I do think Nonito's power, his height, his reach, and his experience, too. Because Nonito, obviously, has fought the much, much better competition of the two. So I think that's going to play a factor. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't think it's anything uh, Nonito hasn't seen before. And I think it's somebody that... You know, and, and I again, Nonito. If you see this, I mean, you mean you the greatest respect. But I think if they were, you know, if Nonito was six, seven years younger, he'd blow this dude out of the water in, in a couple of rounds. But you know, given he's coming off a tough loss to Anoe, given his age, I do think it'll be competitive and a good measuring stick. Not to keep repeating myself, but for my official prediction, I'm gonna say Nonito Donaire wins this fight i'm gonna say it goes to the cards and he wins it on points maybe gets a santiago out of there late but it's hard to say he stops him when the guy's never been stopped before but nonito might be the hardest puncher santiago's ever faced so you never know and i want to keep people something people people something in mind too you know even though nonito had that rough loss in the in the in oe rematch in 2021 he made made history and KO'd Nordinu Bali in a fight he was an underdog in, you know, and no or Ubali at least at the time, I he was one of the three or four best guys in the division. I, I mean, and and Nonito just blew him out of the water. And then he fought Gabayo, who's another tough Filipino fighter, and knocked him out in a few rounds too. So even though he had that tough defeat to Inoue, you know. He was still doing <laughs> very good things in in the in the ring prior to that. So I think it's a little too soon to write Nonito off because of his age. And this is somebody, like I say, he's got a lot more of experience against. He's got a height, reach, and a power advantage over. So it's a good measuring stick to see where Nonito is, given his age, given the rough uh, defeat he had in his last outing, but I ultimately do think he's still got enough to to come away with the with the victory here. So that's my two cents, anyways, guys. Um, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. God bless you all, and uh, have a wonderful night. Take care.